Hey guys, it's Brad, and today I'm here with winter test candles, finally. It took me a little bit this time. Um, in fact, sometimes I make that voyage myself. I've done that three times, I think. It's a really long trip for me, but if there are enough candles that I want, it's worth it. This time, there weren't that many that I felt like I needed to get. Plus, I had my cousin's wedding one weekend, and then I had Riot Fest Music Festival in Chicago another weekend, and this is the biggest, busiest time of year for me at work, so it probably just wasn't gonna happen until my girl Kelly and her daughters Lauren and Lily came through for me and sent me some candles so that I can review them for all of you. So thank you so much Kelly, Lauren, and Lily. I am stoked. In fact, I kind of look like crap right now because I just got home from work. The package was there. I opened it up. I started filming and I haven't smelled these yet. So I'm going to be smelling them for the very first time on camera with you. I haven't done that before. I'm really excited. I want to get into it. Before I do, quick preface, because someone always asks, what is a test candle? What are you talking about? Um, so Bath & Body Works, every season, they have just a few test stores across the nation where they will release things before they go nationwide and release everywhere. The idea is that these candles are testing, and if they sell well, they will go nationwide, and occasionally they don't, and then they are a failed test scent. Um, Bonfire S'mores, which tested for fall, never made it nationwide. I guess it was a failed test scent. Now there's a lot of skepticism and controversy over or whether or not they're actually doing a test or just trying to create hype, but I won't get into that now. Um, but you cannot get these everywhere yet, but hopefully if they pass test, we'll be able to see them all nationwide within the coming months, you know, probably like November after Halloween-ish usually. Also, they're testing four collections right now, but there should be more. There's four main test collections. I have candles from three of those collections today to share with you. I have four candles total. Um, and there was a fifth one I was gonna get, but then I decided at the last minute not to, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit too. Um, but we're already starting to see on Instagram some people getting sneak peeks of some other collections, like little fancier collections um, coming out that are probably gonna be more expensive and like fancier jars. Kind of like last year, we had the initial four collections release, and then a little bit later, we had the collection with creamy nutmeg and mint chocolate and cranberry parabellini come out. Plus there was that ribbed glass collection, which was a little more expensive that had chestnut and cherry. So there's still, more to come for the holidays but right now they have released in test stores four main collections the first collection that I didn't get any candles from is an extension of the elements collection from fall this is one from fall uh, but for winter they're bringing um, in a few scents, frankincense, myrrh, palmander, no, nothing that really appealed to me. It seems like a lot of clove and like spicy type scents. If fall was any indication, that was the collection that came out first. So maybe we'll be seeing those winter scents roll around sometime soon and I'll smell them when they come nationwide. Um, but I did get candles from the other three collections. So let's, let's, start. First collection is this camp themed collection. They all say camp winter on them. I guess people camp in winter sometimes like in a lodge and so yeah there's a lot of woodsy lodgy theme going on here. They put a little bit of effort into the packaging on this collection. Here's what the lid looks like. So it, it's pretty nice and uh, you know at least someone spent some time designing these labels. Not necessarily the case with the other collections and I'll get to that in a second. Um, I don't know what a donut has to do with camping. Some of the other scents in this collection make sense. There's a lot of returning scents here. Um, the hot cocoa and cream one is one that I will probably pick up because I wanted to get another hot cocoa and cream candle, but I didn't love the fall packaging. I figured though that they'd bring it back for winter since it was part of uh, winter last year. And sure enough, it's back for winter. It has a cute little squirrel on it. I'm really surprised, surprised that Marshmallow Fireside is not in this collection. It seems perfect for this collection, uh, but that one's not. But we have a campfire donut because apparently people cook donuts on a campfire uh, um but I've heard this doesn't really smell like a donut either okay you guys are like just smell the candle already all right I feel that way too hmm okay you know so many people described this as a fresh baked bread scent that I was really expecting it to hit me the way like Kringle candles freshly baked bread does and this is not necessarily the same. There, it is a little sweeter. It weirdly almost kind of has like a perfumey note in it too. I don't know what to think of this. I, I feel like it's going to be very different burning than what I'm getting on cold. There is a powdered sugar aspect, a sweetness. It smells nothing like a donut though. Um... 
made with notes of powdered sugar. But um, there we go. I did not read this beforehand. Glazed donut and cedarwood essential oils. Maybe it's that cedarwood that's getting kind of confused in my brain. I'm really curious to smell this one burning, but you know what? I feel like there's a very, very light undertone of like a, a Fruit Loops, <laughs> like a cereal note, something about the sugariness and the slight bakery. It is not like, like freshly baked bread from uh, Kringle is like just, it is undeniably like a loaf of bread with butter on it. This is something that's sweet and sugary, but not a donut. I mean, I don't know. I've never eaten a campfire donut. I don't know. Oh man, this is the, the downfall of actually smelling on camera for the first time with you guys is that I don't have time to formulate my thoughts ahead of time. And I usually spend a lot of time figuring out what I'm going to say before I start filming. So instead, you're just going to get a whole lot of me sitting here smelling. I'm not sure how entertaining that is for you. All right, I think I got to move on from this one. I see what people are saying and that there is like a yeastiness and a breadiness. I wasn't expecting it to be too sweet just because so many people said that. And it's hard to just ignore. I mean, I have not, I know Sean reviewed this. I haven't watched his review of it yet, but just there's so much on Instagram and like haul videos and stuff that I do just accidentally see. Okay, all right. I'm very excited to burn that one just because I think it's gonna be really interesting what it smells like after it's burning. Next collection, uh, a lot of returning scents in this collection too, champagne toast and all of that. I'm pretty disappointed in this packaging. The lid's okay, it's just a snowflake, all right, nothing wrong with that. But I don't know what's going on here. It's just, every year they put out a collection that's very glittery and sparkly, and it's usually one of the four main core collections. Like last year, this was the glittery holographic packaging that came out, and even though we had this, you know, the Cranberry Parabellini collection was also very glitzy and glimmery, but this was the first one. And the year before that, we had this collection, very shiny and pretty. The year before that, the Champagne Toast Black Tie collection was the first year that we saw like a wraparound design on the labels. Um, and this just feels very, if this is it, if this is the, the glitzy New Year's glittery one that they're giving us this year, that, I mean, I know that like Twisted Peppermint's coming out in like a mirror jar and stuff, like we'll have more shiny things, but, uh, I mean, just, I feel like, again, I, it, I don't, this doesn't like match my decor or anything, but I can appreciate the effort, whereas this just seems like pretty effortless, but let's smell it. This one, I was very intrigued to know if it was a repackage. People were saying it was a repackage, but no one would say of what. And of course, I right away thought of mint chocolate and also um, peppermint marshmallow. But I've also heard people compare it to buttercream mint, um, which was the like Black Friday candle, one day only candle a couple of years ago. Uh, and then there was a, a peppermint mocha, I think, that I never smelled. So let's see what this smells like, white mint latte. And the wax color on this is actually kind of nice. I don't know if the camera does it just but it's a really light pale mint. It's not a typical mint. It's, it's very pale. I kind of do like that. Okay. Hmm. Wow. This smells just like peppermint bark. And I maybe do get just like a teeny bit of coffee. I really thought this was going to be like closer to buttercream mint. Um, but it, it's not. From what I remember of that candle, it smelled very much like one of those little pillow mints. By the way, even though I'm trying to do a plant-based diet right now, I ate a bunch of those at that wedding I went to, not realizing that they had butter in them. And then my mom Googled it and she was like, yeah, the first ingredient's butter. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say this is kind of like, like there might be a little bit of, of the buttercream mint in here, but it's like a toned down mint chocolate. The mint chocolate candle is super strong, like in your face, like crazy strong. The first thing that I said, you know, was it reminds me of peppermint bark, but I'm, I was thinking in my head, I was picturing like a, like a white chocolate peppermint bark almost. Oh yeah, that makes sense, white mint latte, with like the little candy cane pieces broken up into it. But there's something a little darker and earthier about this. And that could be a hint of coffee, but it could also be a hint of chocolate. It's not like chocolatey, but think of like really dark chocolate. Okay, so I'm picturing at like Fannie Mae when they have the peppermint bark that's like a little layer of dark chocolate and then a layer of white chocolate and there's peppermint pieces in it. 
but then there's something just a little bitter that makes you think of coffee. So either like a really dark chocolate or coffee. But I, it's, as far as I know, not a direct repackage of anything else. It's not mint chocolate. It's not peppermint marshmallow. It's not buttercream mint. I never smelled peppermint mocha. But then again, it's not like totally, totally crazy different than any of those. You know, it's right in line. I'm sad peppermint marshmallow isn't back. It came out for two years, but it was a really light thrower. And I've got two left, so that's okay. Um, okay. So then the next collection, I have two from, and that is the uh, White Barn Core. So White Barn Core collection, not really a new collection, but a new line of scents for winter testing in this collection. And um, one of the ones that I was going to get was the Graham one. What was that called? Spiced Graham Cracker. Um, I was going to get that one, but after watching Sean's review, he said it was really, really light. And then Kelly also said it was really, really light. So I said, don't get me that one. I'll wait. If it goes nationwide, maybe I'll try it out when I can like easily return it and whatnot. So um, not going to be reviewing that one, but I've heard it smells just like a graham cracker. But I did get two from this collection. I am so happy that I got this one because this would have been a packaging sell for me no matter what. I love neon. I love neon stuff. I was so excited when it like, like when I was little, neon was really cool. And then uh, it came back into style like a couple years ago. And now it's not like so much in style again, but I'm still rocking it every chance I can get. I love neon. And this is like shockingly crazy. I should stop waving it around so you can see it. Uh, shockingly, camera will not do it justice. Bright Neon, like electric, like if you put a black light on, this would glow really brightly. It's not like my stupid phone case, which was advertised as bright, shocking neon pink. I mean, it kind of looks the same on the camera, but this doesn't glow in a black light. And it makes me very mad. I paid a lot of money for a neon phone case, and I feel like it just looks like hot pink most of the time. But there is no denying this is neon. See how like the edge, like the ridge, like kind of glows. I might have to get another one of these, even if I hate the scent, because I just love this jar. I want to turn this jar into so many different things and keep one for display. So if they came out with a whole line of candles and they were all just like neon glass, I would buy so many of all of them. This could be butt scented and I would be okay with it. All right. <laughs> Grapefruit gin fizz. Mmm. Yeah, definitely a pine candle which I would expect. Uh, it's very holiday. Not just because it's pine. It really just reminds me of, um, it's very authentic pine. It's very fresh. Um, it, it makes me feel like I am somewhere where there is like a real Christmas tree because it's not so like in your face, like the fresh balsam. Gin is like, what, what does it say? It's here. It says juniper gin. Ruby red grapefruit, sparkling water, juniper gin. Tell you what, I'm not getting any grapefruit on cold sniff. I'm just getting a light, pleasant pine. I'm not huge on pine. You guys know that if you've been watching me for a while. My mom does like pine, but not balsam, so she might be into this. Ooh, I hope she is, and then she can give me all her empty jars. Okay, once I rub it, I do get a little bit of a citrusness. Um, citrusness, is that a word? But it is almost like a like cleaner. Like I kind of feel like... Before I rubbed it, it smelled like a nice fresh pine, and now I'm rubbing it and it kind of smells like Dawn or something. Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna like the citrus in there, actually. I love grapefruit, and that's why I wanted to try this one, um, because, like, I, yeah, I just love everything grapefruit. Okay, <clears throat> this one's gonna make me cough if I keep smelling it. I got, like, a, I have something in my throat. Okay, um... Well, we'll burn it and see. I'll let you guys know. Post burn reviews on all four of these, obviously. All right, and then the next one I got from the same uh, collection, White Barn Core, is I got the Merry Mimosa and uh, champagne, apple slices, iced sugar crystals. Oh, way more perfumey than I expected. There's almost kind of like a soapiness to this, okay? Hmm, it is not a repackage of anything that I've smelled from them before. It's not at all like, you know, your wasabi apple that everybody hates that I kind of have started to like recently. What I don't like about this is that soap aspect. I feel like there is like a, a soapy, clean, almost like turquoise waters meets apple. Let's rub it. Let's rub it and see. 
if it is apple, it's like, does it say what kind? I would say red apple slices. Yeah, I would say like a red delicious apple, something that is, which I don't actually like to eat very much. Um, a really sweet apple. <sighs> yeah, this will probably be my least favorite. It's okay that I have one. I don't hate it right off the bat, but it does have like a soapiness. And then there's like a really sweet apple that a little bit borders on that. Sometimes I think apples can smell just kind of like hairspray because a lot of hairspray is supposed to smell like apples, but chemically, I, you know, but then it's covered up so much by this strong like soap situation or clean. You know what I mean? Like how turquoise waters is. Like kind of like, I feel like I'm smelling maybe like in a bubble bath that has like a little bit of apple in it really weird. I definitely don't get like any champagne or any hint of anything like is what is in champagne toast or anything like that. Hmm. Okay. Not terrible. A lot of other people might like this. I'm just not really into the soap type fresh clean scents. If you are, that could be a really nice twist on that for you though. Okay. So yeah. All right. I'm into it. I'm excited to start burning. I don't know which one to do first. Probably this one. Wow. That is still just so weird to me. Now my sniffer's tired. Okay. Well, anyway, so those are the four that I have and post burn reviews will be coming up on all of those. I, how long can you just sit here and watch me smell things really? Um, so stay tuned, subscribe to see those reviews after I burn these all for a few days. I, I'll come back and I'll tell you about how they performed and what they actually smelled like burning. Uh, and by then maybe some of them will actually start hitting nationwide. I don't know. And lastly, oh, and I, I want to say again, thank you so much, Kelly, Lauren, and Lily too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also lastly, wanted to say, if you didn't catch my announcement yesterday, I started a new channel, which is just kind of a blog. It's non candle or bath and body works related. But if you want to hear me talk about just like life in general, uh, you can check out that channel and I will link to that below. And I'm already blown away by how many people have subscribed just since last Last night it's crazy so thank you I'll have more to come on that channel and this channel thanks for watching guys follow me on Instagram at candles and music I'll see you later soon bye